Good morning, students. Welcome to SDR online classes for 10th standard. So, in previous in previous class, we discussed the poem "A Poison Tree" written by written by William Blake. So, in this class today, we are going to deal with the poem "Locking Bar" written by Sir Walter Scott, who is from Scotland. He is a Scottish writer. At the time of in the Middle Ages, Middle Ages, he came to in the in the Middle Ages, it, the poem set in the Middle Ages of Scotland. <coughs> so there is a river called Sk, which divides the Scotland and England. This is the border for these two nations. England is to the west of the Scotland. So there is a soldier called that is Knight. There is a soldier called that is knight, the brave knight that is Lochinvar, a hero of the poem that is a hero of the poem that is the poem's hero's name itself is a Lochinvar. So Walter Scott he is famous for writing ballads. This is a narrative poem. Narrative poem means so what we call in Kannada Janapada like that it is. So. In the rhythmic way, we are going to tell a story. In a rhythmic way, we are going to tell a story. That is, the story is like that. In the form of dialogues, it will be there. Conversation will be there. Here, poet will do nothing. Here, characters will talk in the poem. Basically, in the poems nowadays, no, we don't find that type of poems. But these types of poems, what we call it, narrative poems, they will tell a story. Their character will start to conversation. Dialogues will be there. Discussion will be there. Like climax, anticlimax, entrance, entry. Everything will be there. Action and everything will be there in this narrative poem. So this is that type of poem that is Lockin work written by Sir Walter Scott. Wait, wait, remember. So the hero of the poem is. Lochinvar, it is West Scotland. He is a knight in West Scotland. He is a hero. Then hero is Ellen. She is from Netherby Hall, England. She is from Netherby Hall. Netherby clan it is. It is a clan. It's a clan which is in England. Right? So this is all about just background of the poem. In this poem, we are going to read a story of Lochinvar and Ellen about their love. Why he is coming to Scotland? From Scotland to England. That is another poem. Why he is coming? That is the story of the poem. That is the theme of the poem that Brave and Lockin War was very faithful in love and dauntless in war. How he is coming from the Scotland to England? How he is coming to England from the west of the Scotland? How he is crossing the river after coming from there? See what type of steed he was. Steed means a horse. Here in first line only it is that steed. Horse. So instead of that, we can say war horses, which are trained for the war. These type of horses were trained for the war, especially for to participate in the war in the battlefield. So that type of horse he has, and he is going to. Stop the wedding. The wedding is going to happen in Netherby Hall with a person who is so so laggard and so covered eyes. So laggard in love and covered in war. He was very dastard. Dastard means very covered eyes. He will get fear for each and everything. Now that type of it is. No, when we start to stanza wise poem, 
you will come to know that how the characters they were talking in the poem how the poet is giving the introduction of the lochin verb how he is entering into the england from the west of the scotland so shall we start the poem this is a poem about adventure a love right if we love someone then we will be ready for everything to get them like that is that is the poem here so this poem starts with an introduction that is o englokin verb o the interjection it is an interjection starts with the poem that is it is a very high romantic high action poem because in the first line only it starts with an an introduction interjection that is o englokin verb see how he is telling it's not only telling lokin verb englokin verb he is eng O oh, Eng Lochinver is come out of the west, west of the Scotland. Where he is coming? He is coming to England. Through all the wide border, his steed was the best in all over Scotland and England. His steed, his horse was the best. And save his good broadsword, his weapons had none, except a small knife. Except a small knife, he doesn't have. any weapons the weapons he had none the weapons he, he weapons had none he don't have any weapons except that broad sword this is a very small one he rode all unarmed without any arms without any weapons he rode all unarmed i he rode all alone no one is there with him because he is a brave person he is a very brave that is why he don't want anyone with him he don't want any company he don't want any troop the regiment what you call that the troop of the soldiers he don't want any people for the support he has confident that he will win he will want the ln alone he will he has the courage to enter the ln's house that is neither by all alone that is the courageous lochin work so faithful in love and so dauntless in war now see in the first stanza only is telling he is phrasing he is describing the the characters of the lochin war that he is so faithful in love that is why he is going to england to stop the wed and to take his love that is ln so he is going to so what type of person is he is so faithful in love and so dastard you know dastard means a uh, courageous no one he won't fear for anything there never was night like there never was night like eng lochin war there never was night like the eng lochin war this is all about first stanza then in second stanza so now he is started the journey towards england from the west of this scotland so how he started how he was moving that we will see in the second he stayed not for the break he didn't stop for any break he didn't took any break and he stopped not for stone even for the stones also those will come in between the legs of the horse and no he never stayed and he never took a break for anything he swam the eske river where it is very narrow there he swam there he crossed the river where for there was none where no one was there in the border this river eske river which is the place scotland and england it is the border between these two countries eske river this is the border so you may get the question which river the lochin war crossed swam that is eske river he swam the eske river where ford were ford there was none no one was there right where we can cross the river by walking on the foot so there he swam the river and he crossed the country but er er e r e in time in time he reached the netherby gate in time but ere he alighted at netherby gate 
he reached the nether by all in the time but the bride had consented the person who is the, the woman the girl ellen she is thinking the gallant came late see how he is telling about the hero that is lockimer the gallant a very brave person the gallant came late the bride had consented ellen is thinking lockimer came late because already the marriage was oh, the over then the gallant came late when he is entering into the nether by hall the marriage was over then she is thinking the bride had consented she thought the gallant came late for what reason for a laggard in love and dastard in war the person who was not at all have any faith in love and so covered in the battle field like uttar kumar so for that she is going to marry because his father is forcing her to marry him that what type of person he is here here is giving the comparison see what is said in the first stanza fifth line what is said so faithful so faithful in love so dauntless in war this is about lucky in war but the person who is going to marry because of her father that person so laggard so laggard in love so dastard in war see this is the comparison see lockin war is so faithful in love and so dauntless in war he was very faith he has a very good faith in the love that is why he is coming alone to get the ellen from the scot from the england to scotland he is dauntless that is why he came alone he has a faith in love that's why he came and he has a don't this he has a fear he has a power he has a intelligent that is why he died he don't have any fear that is why he came alone and he has a plan to take that his heroine that is ellen but the person who is ready to marry that person laggard who don't have any faith in the love that dastard who is covered eyes who will fear for everything that type of person is what he is doing was to wed the fair ellen of the and lochinwar that to brave lochinwar for a laggard in love and a dastard in war was to wed the was to wed to fair was to wed the fair ellen of brave lochinwar what type of boy it is what type of soldier he is he is a brave lochinwar he see here the poet is how he is describing the difference between the hero and the person who is going to marry with ellen for a laggard in love and dastard in war was to wed with was to wed the fair ellen of brave lochinwar she belongs to brave lochinwar that type of girl she is going to marry because of her father's force then how he is entering into the nether so boldly entered into the nether by hall without any fear so boldly entered the nether by hall among brides men and kinsmen and brothers and all so in the marriage in that hall all the people were present those who belongs to the brides and <coughs> bridegrooms relatives kings and king my kinsmen the relations soldiers knights all were their brothers and all were there then spoke the bride's father when the lochinwar entered when he entered into the lock nether by hall that time the all the people they stand up that he whether what for what reason he came to nether by hall because all they know he is in love with ellen so they are worrying they are thinking they they thought that he is coming he came there to for the war he came there for the war but when the bride's father spoke to him what is spoke then spoke the bride's father his hand on his sword first he, he
kept his hand on the sword. Then for the poor craven bridegroom said never a word. The person who was standing with Ellen, the bride, he was totally silent. Oh, come here in peace here or come here in war. For what reason you are here? What is the purpose of you to be present here in this situation, in this time, in this occasion? Or to dance at our bridal and Lord Lokinwar? This is the question asked by the Ellen's father. Ellen's father asked this question to Lock him up. For what reason you came here? Whether you came for peace or war, or just to dance in our bridal function, just to dance in our bridal function, and Lord Lock him up. For what reason you came here? Then Lock him up is replying. See how he is replying. I long wooed your daughter. I won your daughter's heart. I won your daughter's heart, but. My suit, you denied. We are both are made for each other. But you denied it. Love swells like the solve, but ebbs like its tide. Love is like the waves. Love is like waves. It is the waves of the seas. Ocean. Sometimes it will be very high. Sometimes it will be very low. So this is a figure of speech that is simile. Love swells like the solvay, but ebbs like its tide. I now am, I come with this lost love of mine. Now I came here with the lost love of mine. Who is going to marry with some other person that is so laggard in love and dastard in war. To lead out, to lead, but one measure. I came here for one measure that drink one cup of wine. To drink one cup of wine, there are maidens in the Scotland who was to marry, who was ready to marry me in the line. Those who are fairer, fair than Ellen. See, there are maidens in Scotland more lovely by far, more lovely by far, that would gladly be bride to the Anglo Kinwar. They are in queue to marry me. So they are very fairer than the Ellen. But I came here, for what reason? I came here to just have a measure and cup of wine in my lost love. The bride kissed the goblet. Ellen, Ellen kissed the goblet. The knight took it up. The knight took it up. He quaffed off Wine. He drank that and he threw down the cup. After drinking, then he threw that cup, goblet. She looked down to blush. She was very shy. This is the way how she is showing, expressing her love. She kisses the goblet and she gave to him. After drinking that, he threw that and she was very shy and she looked up to sigh. She was breathing. Speed with a, sim with a smile on our lips. A small smile, a beautiful smile is there on our lips and a tear in her eye. See, both are together here. One side, she is very happy. Another side, she is very nervous. He took her soft hand. He is requesting her. Her mother could bar. Even, even though her mother is not ready to Give her hand, but he took her hand and now he is requesting. Now, tread we a measure. Shall we dance now? Said Eng Lockinwar. He is offering a request of dance to have a dance in the nether by hall. He is requesting to the Ellen, the woman who is going to marry with other person. So stately he is formed. So stately his form and so lovely her face. Both are happy now. That never hall such a gallard, such a gallier did grace. The entire hall is the proof. Entire hall is the proof for that. The very gallant, very beautiful event it is going on. That is, while her mother did fret, 
she is very angry and her father did fume he is also very angry and the bridegroom stood dangling in his bonnet and plume the cap what he has that you no know, that crown like cap at the time of marriage will you know, that one he took in his hand and he was standing in one side and the bride made us whisper and the bride made us whisper there better for there better for when they are dancing the dance is going on between this L and I locking up that time the maidens who are present at that time they were whispering they are talking in a low voice each other that this is a very wonderful pair wonderful pair it is to have matched wonderful match it is made for each other to have matched our fair cousin with the young locking up their cousins Ellen's cousins they are talking each other in a whisper that is in a low voice that. even they are also imagining imagining that even they are also dancing in their imagination with the lock in work that type of person he was that type of personality he has that is and lock in work to have matched our fair cousins cousin with and lock in work one touch to our hand and one word in our ear when they were dancing that time he utters one word in our ear that when they reach the hall door by dancing they taking the round sign when they reach the the gate that is main door that time and the charger stood near charger means horse charger means horse which was stood near by the gate so like to the crook the fair lady he swung he took her and he sat he made her to sat on the horse i so like to saddle before her sprung within a fraction of second it happened everything he took her and he went he made her to sit on the horse so like to the saddle before her he sprung so she is one now she is one because she is also waiting for him she is one we are gone over bank bush and scar they will have fleet steeds that follow forth anglo kinwar he didn't see anything he didn't see bush he didn't see that bank and river nothing he crossed everything in a fraction of minutes in a fraction of second they will have fleet steeds even in river also they didn't care they crossed it the steeds that follow those who are following them even these people those who are following they can't see coat and locker war he was very speed he went very speed there was mounting when these people when these two they start to run that time these people those there was mounting mong gremas of the netherby clan the relations of the netherby clan those who are present in the netherby hall forsters fenwicks and musgraves these are the clans which are present in the netherby hall when these people are present when lockinwar took a lot with elen that are now these people are making the preparation to follow him there was mounting mom gremers of the netherby clan posters fenwicks and musgraves they rode and they ran now they are running now they are riding towards the lockin were to catch him there was racing and changing in kenobi lee in the battle ground like there was a chasing and racing that but the lost bride of nether pai never did they see the people already they went very far now these people they can't see them that must be the event so daring in love and so dauntless in war with whom she went so daring in love who was so daring so courage in his mind courage in his mind that of a person he is who is that person is lock in war so dauntless no fear at all in the war have you ever heard the gallant like and lock in war see here last he is asking the question to the readers that 
Have you ever heard this type of person who went alone to the nearby hall and spoke to his father, that Ellen's father, and when he was asking that for what reason he came, see how he is giving the answer brave, bravely. Then how the technique he made, the plan he executed, that he came alone and he, he wanted to dance with fair Ellen and she also expressed her love by kissing the goblet, which has a wine. After drinking that, he offered her a dance. He wanted to have a dance with her. Then, while dancing only, he uttered words in the word in her ear that that is enough for the Ellen that she is ready to go with him. When dancing only, they are taking the when taking the rounds in the at the time of dance. So when they reached the nearby hall, that gate in door, so he took her and he went away. This is all about the poem and lock in work, which is about which is about adventure, love, high romantic about this poem. So these first four stanzas are for the memorization for the examination. First four stanza, O and Lock in War is come out of the West too. That would gladly be bright to the end lock in our first stanza to so fourth stanza. Each stanza it contains three lines, so six lines each stanza. So you have to buy this. This poem is for the memorization and it is very, very important poem. Through this poem, we are we came to know that this type of person was there in the England, in Scotland. Right? This is all about the poem. So there are a number of reference to context also they can ask in the poem and one by one I will tell you now reference to the context through all the product through all the white border his steel was the best this is one and he rode all alarm and he rode all alone in first stanza second line fourth line and Fifth line, he rode all unarmed and he rode all alone, so faithful in love and so dauntless in war. Next, he swam the SK river where poor there was none. The bride had consented, the gallant came late. Then, fifth line in second stanza for a laggard in love and a dastard in war. Next, in the third stanza, Fifth line, O oh, come here in peace, here or oh, come you in war. This is the one. Then in fourth stanza, I long would your daughter, my source you deny. This is very important line. Then second doctor. Second line in fourth stanza, love swells like the solvent, but as like it's tight. Right? Then there are maidens in Scotland more lovely. By far, this is the line, and in every stanza, it is very, very important. You have to read line by line within the line, and you have to write the summary. So, when we come to know that, when you start to write the summary of your own, that only you can write it very well. So, this is all about the poem and lock you are written by Sir Walter Scott. If you have any doubts, so the remaining question and answers and other things we will next we will complete in the next class. Okay, thank you.